Hi everybody and welcome to this video, video number 13, titled Using Out-of-the-Box Connections to Interact with Third-Party Data. My name is Craig Kreskis. I'm a Partner Solution Architect. I want to say thank you so much for joining me in this video as part of the Microsoft Copilot Studio in a Day workshop. In this workshop, in this lab, in this video, we'll walk you through the four steps of completing the lab. First, you'll see where you're going to add a plugin action. Then once it's created, I'll show you where you can edit the settings and the configuration, uh, make some changes to that action. Then we'll call the plugin action and then we'll go ahead and of course test our bot. So let's get started with adding uh, that first action. So you can see here up inside at the top of your customer service copilot. Now we've not created an action yet, so we'll go ahead and do that and say add an action. And of course you can explore the list of all the, uh, the different connectors uh, inside this, but we're going to follow along with the lab and that's to get the forecast for today from MSN weather. I'll select next and I'll follow the prompts on the screen. Go ahead and select next and then go ahead and finish. And that's all you need to do. Now, as I said, in the second step, we'll go ahead and edit the, the configuration. So here you can see if you go ahead and open that up. So click on that action you created. Now here you can configure details about your action, including the display name, which you see here is populated by default and the description for your action. Now, usually the name and the descriptions again are pre-populated for us based on the actions that we selected. On this page, you can also ask the selected user uh, before running the action checkbox, which is useful for actions that make changes for a user, such as an example, inserting or updating a record in a table. If I go ahead and select on inputs, the input section here allows you to manage the display name uh, and again, the, the description, which will help the copilot generate a question to the user. So for example, uh, a generated question for the location input could be, what is the location you would like to check the weather for? You can enter in a city, region, state, country, landmark, or postal code. And you'll see this when you test your bot. Now by default, each input is set to dynamically fill with the best option. Copilot tries to populate the value from the available context, such as extracting a value from the user's message. And if there is not an appropriate value found, it'll generate a question to prompt the user for a, a value. When you click on the outputs, by default, your plugin action is configured to automatically generate a contextual response for a user based on their query and the result of, of the action. So for example, if let's say a user asks, what's the temperature in London, a contextual reply is generated using GPT, such as the current temperature in London is nine degrees Celsius. Now you'll see here is you can change the, or you can choose to author a specific response to that plug in action to return. So you can see here, you can create a message. And this is something you probably are familiar with by this point in, in the workshop. You can select the, the variable and you can start to put in your message and select, again, all of the, uh, the variables that you have. So just similar to the, the editing experience we've been doing throughout the workshop. Go ahead and save your work. And now we can go ahead and call a plugin from a topic. So let's go ahead and get back into that customer service copilot. Up at the topics, I'm going to add a topic, of course, rename this, and then we'll go ahead and edit the phrases. You know, put in your uh, five or six phrases that we need to start in, in order to train the model. Uh, so you can see here in the backdrop, I have how's the weather, what's the weather, get weather, today's forecast, etc. Insert those. And then select on the node. And what you're going to do is just call an action. And this time, since we, we just created that plugin, we're going to go ahead and select for plugins. And you'll go ahead and choose get forecast. Save your work. And that basically will help you get started. And then, of course, the last step is to go ahead and, and test our bot. So let's go ahead and, and test it. On the right side, I'll hit test. 
And again, the prompt question in this case here, the trigger phrase is what is today's weather? I'll hit enter. And now notice it's going to follow along in this conversation. So I'll type in, let's say metric. And then remember that default response back to give me some more values. It's asking me city, region, state, postal code, etc. I'll put in the, the city of Denver. And now you may come across this message. So I purposely left this here in the video. Uh, if you do, and it might have been because I did mine and, and let it sit or I had created this overnight and then I came back to test it later. Whatever the case may be, all you need to do is click on connect. It will open up in a new tab in your browser and just go ahead and select that, uh, that connection. Hit manage connection and then just go ahead and hit submit. You'll notice in that now that status is back to connected. Hit alt tab and then go ahead and, and test your bot on, on the right hand side. So that's gonna conclude this video on using out of the box connectors to create or to interact with third party data. You saw in this step here around adding a plugin action, we edited the settings, we did a call on that plugin and then tested the, the studio or Copilot studio. With that, I wanna thank you all so much for being a part of this video. Again, video number 13. My name is Craig Kreskis, and I look forward to seeing you on a video again real soon.